Now for the latest in our occasional series in which those who knew Seve Ballesteros best recall the greatest shot or shots they ever saw him play. It's hard to think of a player who was more different to the Spaniard than Nick Faldo, but they enjoyed a close relationship and played together many times. The special Seve moments that Faldo remembers came before the days of blanket TV coverage, so there is no footage of them. But Sir Nick does a pretty good job describing the experience anyway, what it was like to watch one of the most gifted and most imaginative players the game has ever seen. I was there on the side of the bunker in 83 at the Ryder Cup when he went in there with his old Tony Penner three-wheel, which had about 12 degrees, a lot was just filed flat. And he hit that, thing, and, he, and he just hit it off the back, as you know, off the back edge of the green, back left. I mean, if it hit the green, it would have probably been rated even more, but it still was only, I think, about 20, 25 feet. But he was in the sand, lip everywhere, and poof, I could still kind of see him. I was, I was standing right here, he was there. You know, the halfback, him going that way. So I remember seeing that one. I've seen many a good iron shot, but the fun ones was uh, some of his short game shots. We played moons ago in, in uh, Brussels. The Donald, it was called the Donald Swaylands Challenge, and he missed the green at the ninth on the left, and the pin was on the left with a bunker in between. And he knows he only had a, we only had 50, 60 degree wedges, and he hit this pitch across over the bunker, went Poof! and the ball stopped dead, it didn't bounce, it went dunk. And I thought, why do you do that? That was different. So you say, <laughs> next day, same spot, pins on the left, just a little whatever, further forward or back. He looks at it this time, three iron, whacks it in the bunker, through the lip, out, down to two feet again. And I thought, all right, okay, now you're showing off. But, um, but the best one I wish I'd do with the kids, is I was at Bay Hill and I'm on the putting green and he's in the bunker green and uh, the crowd's getting bigger and they're ruining the night. So I go over and have a look and because he's in there and he's got a three iron. He's hitting bunker shots with a three iron. So I thought, well, I'll try that. So I go back well, and I practice it for a couple of weeks and then we have another week or two on. We're at the, we played a practice round at the, uh, at the players together and there was that little famous horrible little bunker on front right of 18. And we walk, he says, okay, Nick, we have a bunker competition. I said, sure. He says, okay, Nick, we choose a three iron. I said, sure, no problem. Thought, okay, Nick, you go first. I said, okay, sure. <laughs> so I go, poof, knock it out, pretty good, or whatever, 10, 12 feet. He goes, okay, Nick, pretty good. And he gets in there and he goes, poof, and this thing goes, makes it zip to about four feet. I said, all right, I'll go and work on that. So that was, we used to have fun little things like that. That was, um, that was Sevi's gift. It was a gift that made even the greatest players in the world just a little envious. He had, uh, he, you know, been able to do this with your hands, playing any shot, make the golf ball do things. With clubs and balls that, you know, different now, I mean, the grooves are milled now. We didn't have grooves on our old wedges. They were faces with concave, we wore them out. We played with a blaster ball, very different, but uh, that was his magic.